On Sunday, 12th February, 1809, a boy was born. He was going to die many years after with the pains of a bullet. But even before that happened, he was going to have a terrible adulthood. In the year 1832, he lost his job. He tried to contest a legislative seat, but also lost. In 1833, his business failed. And in 1835, his lover died. He had a nervous breakdown in the year 1836 and was defeated in another political contest in the year 1838. While he had a few successes all these years, his failures were numerous. But by the year 1860, he was elected the president of the most powerful country in the world. The above story is of Abraham Lincoln and the lesson there is very simple. The greatest men amongst us are the ones who fail the most. You see, Elon Musk said, if things are not failing, you are not innovating enough. In other words, if you're not making mistakes, you're not growing. If your life is too smooth, it will end in disaster. The real name for success. When you look at the life of an average human being, it's usually designed to try as little things as possible and to avoid every possible mistake. It's about playing it safe. It's about playing not to lose. For successful people, however, it is about going for it. It's about fighting for your dreams. And that's the reason why successful people always have more failures and mistakes than people who are failures. Show me anyone successful today and I'll tell you that such a person has experienced more failures than most people. And that's why the real name for success should have been after several failures. Because that's what it is. You only become successful after you've gone through several failures. And if you were afraid of the pains that failures bring, you might as well forgo the success you seek. If things are not failing, you are not innovating enough. If you are not failing, you are not growing. If you are not failing fast, you are not growing fast. The World of Luck In the year 2016, I discovered a unique business idea which no one else knows about in my entire country. I met with a few friends and I was able to raise more than enough money for my business idea. Within the first few months, my life has changed and that business eventually gave us enough money to start another business and another business until we started printing our own money. The above story is true and it sounds a lot like a stroke of luck, right? Yes, it was a stroke of luck but there's another side to the story I've not told you and that is before I met that luck, I had sacrificed eight long years of my life looking for it. It happened that I started in the business world on the 24th of July 2008 and for the following eight years all I knew was failures. So shall we call my breakthrough after eight years of bitter luck? Yes, it's a bit of luck. But don't forget this, luck only comes to people who look for it where it leaves and that is in the wilderness. Think about this like warfare. If you shoot a bullet at your enemy, well, that single bullet might kill him, but the chances of that happening are lean. What if you shoot 10 bullets? What if you shoot 100? Then you increase your probability. The same thing happens when you want to achieve some success in life. If you try once, your chances of success are lean. If you try 10 times or 100 times, then you're likely to be lucky because one of your bullets is likely to hit your target. If things are not failing, you are not innovating enough. Massive Failure and Success Awaken the Giant Within is a great book written by Tony Robbins. In this book, Tony writes about some of the attributes of the most successful people in the world and number one of those attributes are massive failures. Like Abraham Lincoln, most of the successful people in the world have to go from one failure to another for several months or even many years. What happens during this time is that you become smarter and smarter. Unlike what our society makes us believe about failure, failure doesn't mean that we're dumb. Thomas Edison said, and I quote, I've discovered 10,000 ways not to invent the light bulb. When people said that he had failed and that's what failures do for us. Failures show you how not to do something and the more feedback you get about how not to do something, the more insight you have about how to do it. And it's that simple. If things are not failing, you're not innovating enough. If you're not failing, you're not growing. How to Fail Forward There's another great book I'd like you to read. It's called Failing Forward by John Maxwell. 
Phelan Ford is a great book that tells the stories of 10 or even hundreds of successful people all over the world and then shows us how these people became successful. So it turns out that people who become successful are those who actually dare things that are bigger than themselves and because of this, they almost always fail several times and when these people fail, they simply keep on trying until they become successful. Hence, they fail forward. Reading a book like this tends to open your eyes to the reality about life and this in turn changes the way you think about life in general. As for me, because I read a lot when I started in the business world and things seemed not to be working, I simply told myself, well, everyone who achieves success has gone through this phase. Because I have read stories of several people, it's easy for me to see my failures as normal things and whenever any human can interpret anything as being normal, he or she can easily endure such things or even smile through it. Some times ago, I was watching a documentary about slavery and some guy who was born as a slave that believed it is normal to be a slave simply because that's the only life they ever knew. The reason why most of us see failure as a bad thing is that from our childhood, everyone around us has always criticized us for making mistakes. What I recommend for you is this. Sit down and read biographies of the people who have achieved greatness in life. You don't have to read 500 page biographies if you don't like reading. You can read short biographies and summaries which come from other non-fiction books. By studying the lives of other people who have achieved great things, you'll see that these people almost always go through hell before they get to heaven and this will help you to endure your hell. If things are not failing, you're not innovating enough. If you're not making mistakes, you're not growing. And in this video, one big question I'd like to ask you is this. How many mistakes have you made in the last 12 months? How many times have you failed in the last 5 years? If you're not making mistakes, you're not making progress. If you're not failing, you're not growing. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel. We love you.